Hello guys. I just found something nice on uh, Amazon, eBay here one day. I have this uh, slim, nice computer which I want to use in my car. And when you want to charge the computer in your car, you need an uh, inverter, something like this, which has a big drawback. It draws a lot of current just to power up this one. So I found uh, on eBay or Amazon, you can find it both places, this car charger which has the correct 19 volt output and the correct plug for my Samsung laptop. So let's see how much does this draw from the 12 volt and how much does this draw together with the original charger. Let's wire them up and see. Okay, let's do this one first. This is just a loose wire I'm going to use in the car later. And we connect the power supply to the plus and minus rear and we plug this AC socket inside it. And then again we can power it up. Let's see what the ampere meter says. Power it on. Yeah, 0.85 just with this one on. And then let's put it inside here and see if it's charging. Yes, the LED is red, which indicates charging. And the amperage is 3.3 amps. That is a lot in my eyes, so let's unpower it. Remove this, put this aside, and test this one. First of all, 0 0.3 amps when you have only this one. And let's put it in the computer. And here we go. LED is charging. And now 2.25 amps. 26. That's a whole amp lower than this one. Because this one draws all by itself almost one amp. So, uh, in a car, it's uh, good to have equipment that draws as little ampere as possible. So, I will say this is a goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, good, good, yeah, you understand? Goodbye. Not goodbye, but yep. Yeah. And uh, let's take a look. I don't just say much really, but uh, if you take a look anyway, let's see if I manage to focus this. Wait a minute. 40 watt input, 12. To 16 volt, 10 amps on the fuse. It's important when you put this in the cigarette lighter, you need at least 10 amp fuse. Output 19 volt, 2.1 amps. Fantastic. And I forgot to tell you, it has an USB port so you can charge your phone as well or anything USB. Fantastic. Well, That's it. It's a clever idea to make this one instead of using this big convert inverter, which have this losses inside. One amp, and one amp. So um, yeah, just a great tip if you have a computer as well and want to use it in your car. Check if you can find this one on eBay or Amazon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.